guys it's Stephanie and I'm back again with another tutorial this time something fun and flirty for the seasons that are changing so we're leaving summer going into fall and I felt like this outfit was appropriate this is actually one of the looks I had on my website last year and I had some people ask me how I made it so here I am with the tutorial showing you how I made it so we're gonna start off making the patterns I am a big fan of either buying a pattern or making your own pattern because once you have the pattern that fits you perfectly you can make the item out of literally anything any color any fashion any fabric type as long as it's you know the same type of stretchy or woven fabric you can literally make the same item in so many colors instead of having to you know re-get a pair of pants out of your closet or a shirt and have to re-measure and all that just do the pattern so what I'm gonna do is show you how I make the pattern first and then get your measurements and then we're gonna make the item so if you're here because you want to improve your sewing skills or you just want to learn how to make this cute outfit Make sure you follow along and also don't forget to like and subscribe. I have so many more items and much more content that I'm going to be posting here in the near future. So um, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. To get started, this is a list of items you're going to need. And then once you have that, we're going to start taking measurements. First your waist and then move on to your rise. Start at your crotch and measure to the height you want your pants to stop. This is a high waist style, so I'm going just above my belly button. Now you need to measure from your crotch to just below the knee, and then below the knee to the floor. If you're wearing heels, you're either gonna wanna put those on or just add three to four inches, depending on how tall your heels are. Next, you wanna test the stretchiness of some of the pants you can use as a guide. You want to pick the style that matches the stretchiness of your fabric that you're sewing with the best. You don't want to use a stretchy fabric to sew with in a not so stretchy pattern. Place your leggings on the tracing paper and use the measurement you took from crotch to just below the knee and fold up. For your rise measurement, you're going to need to add or subtract depending on how your leggings already are to get the correct measurement. Next, you need to mark your seam allowance around your piece. If you're serging like me, do a fourth of an inch, but if you're using a traditional machine, a seam allowance of half inch is good for you and go all the way around the piece, including the extra you added at the top for the rise. Next, flip your leggings the other way, do the same exact steps and cut out both pieces. Measure the width of the front and back knee openings and add them together. Then to get the measurement of your circle bottom leg opening, you're going to divide that by 3.14. My tracing paper is a little too narrow for the bottom part that I need, so I'm going to use fabric as a pattern. Next, make sure your edges are straight by using a ruler, some chalk, and making a straight line. Using your circle opening measurement, start at the corner and make a mark at the measurement you got. Keep going all around until you can make a full complete line. Now using your measurement you took for below the knee to floor, you're going to add that to this pattern piece. So starting at the line you just drew, at that measurement using your measuring tape and make marks all around in a complete line like you did the top line. Cut out along the lines you drew. Place your pattern piece on the fold of your fabric, pin and cut. And remember to do this twice because you need two pieces. Oxy. 
Pin the open edge together and place it to the side to sew later. To get the measurement of your top band, you're gonna take the width of the top of both pattern pieces and add it together. Now using a ruler and tracing paper and a marker, you're gonna make a straight line and then make a mark at half of that measurement. So if you had a 22, you're gonna make a mark at 11. You also want the width to be two inches. So I have a quilting ruler, which makes it a little easy, but all you have to do is make the height of the band two inches and you have your band. Pin your waistband pattern to your fabric and cut out two pieces. Pin the ends of your band and put it to the side to sew later. Next, you wanna pin your pant patterns down. I like to pin as far away from the fold as I can because you can use that folded fabric for a top, a skirt, if there's enough. So I just like to do that usually. And since we're making a top for this outfit, I mean, it just makes sense. And after you're done pinning, just cut out both pieces. Lay both back pieces down, then place the front pieces on top and pin along the inside leg. You will sew along this seam first. Now take all your pinned pieces to your machine and start sewing. As I said, I'm using a serger, but if you're using a regular machine, go ahead and use a half inch seam allowance since that's what you did with your pattern. Open up both pant pieces and lay them right sides together. When you pin, make sure you match the inside crotch seam and then continue pinning along the rest of the opening. After you're done, you're gonna sew that seam together. All right, now open up your pants and lay them right sides together. And now we're gonna pin the outside leg opening. Once you're done, you're gonna to go to your machine and sew those seams together. Now it's time to add your flounce bottom. You're gonna take your circle bottom piece and place the pant leg inside, making sure right sides are together and making sure you match the inside seams of both pieces. Continue pinning around the rest of the opening, remembering you might need to stretch it as you go. Do this for both pieces, then sew together. For your waistband, first you're gonna fold it in half, and then you're gonna put a pin on each end where the seams are, and then two pins in the middle. You're gonna use these pins to match the side seams and middle seams of your pants. Open up your band and place it around your pants with the folded part facing down. Then you're gonna to pin together, matching the side seams. So the side seams of the band go with the side seam of the pants, and the middle pins you put on your band, you're gonna pin those to the middle seams of your pants. Once you're done, you're gonna sew it together. Last thing you need to do is hem your pants and you're done. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time. See ya.